Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace and if you're new, I'm Jessica. Today, I'm actually gonna do a review on something that I was very intrigued by. I got it from Amazon, so of course I'll have my affiliate link below. But I think you can buy these in different places, but uh, I've never seen them before. So today we are gonna check out this stapleless stapler. And the reason why I was so intrigued was because I thought this maybe could be a good option for someone who wants the appearance of having um, sewing detail on paper if you don't have a sewing machine. So here's the package that it came in. It was really inexpensive. I think it was six-ish dollars. I could be off a little bit there. But I um, did try it out on a few things because I wanted this to be mostly a first impression, but I also wanted to make sure I knew how to use it. Um, and it's super easy. So basically, instead of staples or sewing detail, you are going to get this little detail right here. And guys, I'm trying to figure out the lighting in this room and it's a little bit hard because I'm used to natural light. And so you'll have to bear with me until I figure that out. I don't even feel like you can see um, the detail on here. I also can't, so it's right on the edge here. And now it is supposed to be able to staple pages together. And that's the one thing I have not tried yet. So I also did some of the detail. So far I just tried it out just more or less for decoration purposes, but let's try it out together. And I am just going to take some scrap papers now I wanted to see, it, it seems like it's not super strong as far as how many pages you can staple together, but let's go ahead and find out. So I'm just going to take two just scrap pages here just because I have them next to me. And then, <clears throat> so the one thing I noticed is that you can't go in very far on the page. It's really only going to allow you to staple on pretty much the edge of your page. So you just click it down like that. I'll just do it a couple times just cause I really like the look of it. Like that's the main thing that I wanted this for, but I was hoping it would be a good option for people that either also don't have staples or sewing machine. So let's see here. So that is held on pretty good. I could tear that apart. I can feel that, but it's not going to just come apart. Um, let's see if we can add another page. Let me grab like some scrap paper here. This might be fun to make those little like scrap booklets. I always forget what you call them, but um, so let's see if we can do three. And these are pretty thin pieces of paper. And then I'm kind of curious if you can do like if it would go through fabric or let's find out. So I feel like that might be the limit is about three pages. Okay, so it definitely holds all three on, but it's feeling like maybe we couldn't do one more, but let's just try just to see. We'll just put this one right next to it. Let's see if we can do four. I'm excited for this. I think it's gonna be a really cool addition to my tools and I think I will mostly be using it for making like clusters. So it does, okay, that, I mean, there we go. So we did about four, maybe I could do one more, but I don't wanna push it. So that is a very nice surprise to know that you can put, I thought maybe you could only do like one or two page, or sorry, like two or three pages, but we can get four together using this little handy dandy stapless stapler and I wanted to go ahead and make a little cluster with you just so we can kind of see what type of detail you can get. And again, since I don't have the best lighting set up, um, I realized that hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I just wanted to grab some little tickets. Now these are a bit thicker. And I'm just gonna make a quick little cluster. I'm actually making something similar to this for my Patreon members for April, I think. Okay, so we're gonna just, just add some layers here. Um, maybe some, sorry, I am grabbing things off to the side here just because that's where I have all my stuff. 
Okay, let's see if we would be able to get both of these on. Now, you do have to keep in mind that you will have to keep whatever it is you are stapling onto on the edge. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Maybe we'll just go like this. I don't know, just to see what we can get. You want to make sure, and I definitely feel like you need to make sure not to jam too much in there. But let's do a couple. I really like how this looks in real life. Again, I feel like you can't see too well on camera what the detail looks like. I will try to post some photos on my Instagram, so if you wanted to check that out. Now the thing I wish, I, I definitely wish that it could go in just a bit further so I could get like detail right here kind of thing, but I think you can work around that and if you really, you know, love the detail that it's giving, then what you could do is like staple this piece separate before putting it on. And then just to see if we can get it to show up a bit more on camera, let's um, use some ink, but first let's kind of just finish up our cluster here. I'm really just going to glue this part on. We'll just go like this. I don't even, I'm not really even thinking about what I'm doing here. Um, oh, I did wonder if we could do, I wonder if this would work. I feel like, okay, sorry. I'm going to see if we can use this and have it work on like fabric or ribbon here. So let's see if we can get a little piece of ribbon. Let's see if we can get that to stick on. Oh gosh, is my camera moving this whole time? <laughs> like I said, I'm really, um, I have a great area in my new craft room for filming, but I just don't know how to quite set, set it up yet. And so I'm just so not used to it. Okay, so we're gonna take the ribbon on the edge here and so again it will have to be on the edge to see if we can get that in there and then I'm just going to try to get that in as far as I can. I can't quite tell if it's in there or not but let's see. Oh, I definitely felt it go through. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. I think it seemed like it almost worked and you can actually see the detail on the ribbon but I can't tell if it kind of it kind of curls up you have to be able to fit it in there like with everything together <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense and when I'm putting it in there it is kind of bunching up a bit so okay so I definitely would not rely on this for like if you really need something to stick together I mean if it's two or three pages of paper then you're good to go there that will totally be fine but if you are like making something and you wanted to make sure that something definitely doesn't fall off i guess i maybe wouldn't recommend this as as you know a final means of putting something together but other than that i'm just gonna put a few i have a few new goodies that i got from taper Logi, and if i don't have my video up yet. I have a haul coming because I got some really fun products from them and I do have a coupon code. Um, so I will have to post that below. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of play around here a bit and then I'm going to use my ink here. Yeah, I can tell the lighting's not so great how I have it set up right now. So I apologize for that and I really hope that you can at least see what we were talking about today. I'll just use some ink here. My table that I'm filming on is uh, an island table and it has wheels and I probably should have locked them because I can tell that when I'm moving it's moving the whole table so obviously I'll have to work with that. Okay and then I feel like um, since I put a little label on here I feel like it's just needing some like words or text if that makes sense so we're just gonna finish it off like this. Perfect. That was fun. Okay. Well, I hope that on camera you can maybe see the detail. You can definitely see it in real life and I think it is so fun. So I have it on the edges here and over here even on the ribbon even though it's not exactly holding the ribbon on too great. Um, but yeah, 
I am excited to have this little tool. Um, and again, if you want to check it out it on here, it's on the edges here. I will have the link down below. It was kind of fun to do a little review like this. I don't do this type of thing very often on my channel. So um, yeah, darn, I can definitely see shadow. So bear with me guys. I don't have time to like keep refilling videos and whatnot, but I will be putting lots of time and energy into trying to figure out a good setup so that really soon we can have good quality videos. And thank you so much for sticking around while I figure all of that out. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.